so today I'm going to be showing you all the best Destiny fashion using the new Ghost of the Deep Dungeon armor. Now I will be showing a lot of fashion for each class, so if you want to skip ahead then I will have timestamps on screen. But anyways, if you want to see more of these videos then leave a like and subscribe for more Destiny fashion. And with all out the way, it's time we start off with the Hunter fashion. So I wanted to start this off with a set that I made using the Starry to Scales exotic. You can see that the chest plate and cloak are from the new seasonal ornament set and the arms and helmet are from the dungeon. Now the reason why I use the shader to studio for a gold in this set is because it turns off the glows on the arms. If you didn't know the dungeon armor pieces have this glow that overlays the armor and because the chest plate doesn't have this same sort of glow it was better to find a shader that could turn the glow off. However for the helmet and cloak I did decide to go with a shader that added this yellow glow as it really helped make the set stand out. And I did also find Eagle Malign and Sinking Feeling to work pretty well with this set. Though I still find the gold variant to be my favourite as it pairs really well with the Trolls Memento and crafted weapons. Now anyways I want to move on and show you all some of the best hunter fashion from my discord using the new dungeon armour pieces. This first one is from Monkey Snail and goes with a bit of a swamp like look. He uses that same same helm and cloak combination I showed in my first set and it's one I highly recommend you all trying out once you get the new seasonal ornaments cloak. Now this next one from Zion is a little bit different as it uses the seasonal cloak and arms with the new dungeon chest and boots. What I really like about this one though is the use of the beastly visage ornaments making him more medicine and I think that's really effective given how the scaly dungeon armor is designed giving him more of a sinister look. And this set from Brump gives me the same sort of vibe although it's more hive like. Now here we have a similar sort of set from Gorak although they instead use the dark hollow mantle which is a cloak from the king's fall raid and that's another set that works really well with the dungeon armor. Here is another hive like set from Anuba that instead used the omnioculus ornament Lirin Marrow and in this set you're seeing a bit of the king's fall armor, the grasp of avarice and the new dungeon all blending really nicely together. Now here is a more interesting look from the chig and they wanted to make their hunter look Taken. You can see they create that sort of dark to light gradient going from the top to the bottom of the set and I think the dungeon armor works especially well here because of the way it glows. Then we have this set from Sir Cleans that goes with this sort of emerald appearance with the exotic star eater scales. The chest transitions quite nicely into the boots and this is often one of the harder pieces to pair with this star eater scales. Now this next set is quite similar from Pulsar but instead uses the Tekeli exotic ornament. This goes with a cleaner less less scaly look and that's why the new seasonal chest plate works so well with it. Now moving on we have this really interesting set from Bread called the Bonfire Hunter. This is based off Dark Souls and it sort of makes a lot of sense given how the pieces look like they are welded together. Then you have the top of the cloak which has these nice candle bits and this nice bright orange on the cloth to make it all look like a flame. And another interesting thing about this set is because the exotic they are using the boots actually have this unique glow. Now anyways moving on we have this fish like set from Fancy Pants Oryx. Really like how they blended the sealed Ahamkara grasps with the dungeon chest and boots and it was a really good choice picking Mist Office for, for the cloak as it creates this wavy animated blue which fits really well with the fish theme. Then the final two sets for the hunter are actually based off Eris Morn. Found these sets to look really interesting in how they use the lucky raspberry but yeah that pretty much does it for all the hunter fashion. Some really unique and interesting sets and I would love to know in the comments which one was your favourite. Now we're going to be moving on to some titan fashion and I first want to start off with my titan called the bloodied knight. I wanted to create this sort of scaly hive knight design that is covered in blood and I found the new dungeon helmet to work perfectly with it and with the shader carminica as well as the new dungeon mark it made for a more demonic look. Now anyways I want to move on to some more unique sets from my discord with this first one coming from Anuba. They went with a hive knight design with the abeyant leap exotic and what I really like about this set is the way they blended the glow on the helmet with the secondary colour on the other armour pieces. Then here we have another set from Zion that used the Abeyant Leap Exotic and they instead went with the shade of Sinking Feeling to create this pulsing blue look. And here is another Abeyant Leap set from Main and instead of matching the helm with scaly armour they went with a cleaner sort of design which I think they did a really good job with in this set. 
Here is another set showing how well you can mix the seasonal arms with the new dungeon helmet. And then to fit the scaly look of the armor they used the Thunderous Impact Greaves and the War Newman's Mark. Thunderous Impact being a very interesting and effective choice as it fits with the Ark subclass. Then next we have this very interesting set from Fancy Pants Oryx as they base their set off the Night Kin from Game of Thrones. Really like how they use the no backup plans exotic ornaments to create a sort of icy look on the arms. And the shader was a really good choice blending these pieces together nicely as well as matching the colour of the Night King. There were quite a few sets that used the no backup plans exotic ornaments with the dungeon armour and I must say it is a really nice combination as you can see with Amscapi set as well as Uru Gaming's. Then moving on we have this set from Swavy J that goes with this more scavenged look. The chain going around the arms and chest work really well and this set fits nicely with the crimson exotic ornament. Then next we have this really unique set from Techno Viking that is based off Aquaman. Really interesting use of the helmet making it look more like a crown to fit the kin of Atlantis. And I must say the way they use the North Light Greaves in this set is honestly just perfect. And they even went and recreated the belt with the Midnight Exigent. So fantastic job as all always the Techno Viking on their cosplay set. Then we have Cheese God the Mayday Taken Guardian, using the new boots and mark with a unique glow to give off the look of Taken. Then moving on to these last few sets we have the Demon of the Saints from Broadsword 115, going with a more demonic look for Saint 14 using the new dungeon chest and boots. Then we have this full red set from Monkey Snail that used the dungeon chest plate and with this shader it actually turns the glows off, allowing it to pair nicely with the Husk Crushers, Descending Echo and War Newman's Crown. And finally we have this magma like set from Mayrime. What I really like about this set is that the chest plate has this nice molten glow that travels downwards and with the way this mark looks and glows it does look like it's releasing the molten lava from the chest. So really good job to Mayrime on this set and that pretty much wraps Wraps up all the Titan fashion, but yeah, be sure to let me know which Titan fashion was your favourite in the comments below. Now we're going to be moving on to the final class, which is the Warlock, and I firstly want to show you all my set called the Bone Weaver. Now I absolutely love how the Diadem of the Seat exotic ornament looks with the new dungeon robes. I think it's a perfect fit, especially with how the shoulder plates come up, just like with the crown. Now for the gloves in my set, I use the Epilus following, as I really like how the bone pads come all the way up to the knuckles. Then for the boots I use the new seasonal ornament and I think this actually matches better with the robes than the actual boots from the dungeon. Now you will notice as well that I don't have any bond and this is actually a unique interaction when using the ancestral bond from the Ghost of Tsushima Warlock set. Because the bond is only a glow, when you use a shader that removes glows it will literally disappear and I just really like how this looks as it makes the set mostly symmetrical. But anyways I now want to move on to some of the best Warlock fashion from my discord starting off with Mr. Savage. Very similar sort of bone look using the shader Ego Malign. They instead though used the helmet from the dungeon set and paired it with the King's Four robes. Which I think fits really well as they also paired the curved bone design with the gloves and the bonds. Now this next set from Monkey Snail goes with the same helmet and robes combination except they went with a reddish design to fit the four exotic ornaments. And again here is another set that used the same helmet and robes combination except Stanky when they set based off Sauron which given the design of the crown fits extremely well. Then next we have this set from Lord Eyepatch that used the Corrupting Echo robes to create a hive like set and I like how they kept consistent with the green glow on the helmet adding the necrotic grip as well as the king's full bond. Then here is an interesting set from Zion that used the new dungeon helmet with cleaner plated robes. They went with a more Queen's Guard like design and I actually think that worked really well. And that leads me on to the final set which is from Brump and is called the Lich. The way the cloth glows on these robes is just like the helmet which makes them a perfect combination. And the choice of shaders here make for one of the coolest warlock sets that I've seen in a very long time. And that pretty much wraps up all the best fashion that I've seen with the new dungeon armor so far. Just want to say thank you to everyone that submitted a set for the fashion competition and I hope all of you watched can appreciate the set shown. If you want to be part of any of my future videos then join the discord through the link on screen or in the description. It's also just a great place to share and get some advice on your destiny fashion. If you want to see more videos like this then leave a like on the video and subscribe for more destiny fashion. Thank you all so much for watching and an extra thank you to all my youtube members for supporting the channel. Stay safe and I will see you all in the next video.